What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to add a custom shelf to your Maya. So basically what a custom shelf is, is a shelf that has all the tools that you assign to it. So as you can see up here, I have all of these sort of random tools versus going to your other default tabs or shelves, should I say, with all these tools in it. Because I don't use a lot of these tools. I use maybe these ones here and a couple of these ones here, this one here. That's about it. I don't use about 60% of these tools. So I like making my own custom shelf of tools that I use quite regularly. Now you can access all these tools in either these menus up here, but there are shortcuts to access a lot of them. So if I um, hold shift and right click, I can get a bunch of tools just doing that. And then I know that there's a lot of different buttons as well, but I don't use those menus. I use the um, custom shelves. So. First thing we're going to do is just show you how to straight up add the new shelf. We go Windows, Settings Preferences, and then we go Shelf Editor. Click that. Now, I want mine to come right here at the end. So I'll scroll to the bottom, click the one at the bottom, and then go Add New Shelf right there. And that will add your shelf. Easy peasy. Change the name of it to whatever you want. It's going to call it Tutorials. If you look up here, when I press Enter, that'll change it. Save that, and now we've got this completely blank shelf, which isn't very useful. We're not gonna use a blank shelf. We want tools to be in here. So now you've got to add your tools. The menus I'm gonna be sort of, the menus I use mainly are these four menus up here. I do use some of the UV tools sometimes, but I tend to just go into the UV drop down because I use them not as often as most of the mesh tools. So to add your tool, Come to your menu, your drop down menu, find the tool that you want. So I want bevel, I want extrude. So I'm going to show you extrude first. Hold control shift and then left click. And I'll add tool to whatever the shelf you have selected. So make sure you're on the shelf you want and then do that again. So I want, let's say I want merge, control shift, left click. So you could just keep holding control shift and just go ham and, you know, that's whatever you want. Now, one extra bit. Is you see these little squares, they're the option menu for that tool. So if I just add bevel and I were to select the edges I wanted, boom. Now, you know, that's all right, I guess, but I wanted, I wanted, let's say only one side and I wanted it to be way smaller. If I delete this quick, come back into this, not minimize my tab. Um, and then we go control shift and click the little square this time at the end of it, which is the options menu. And then left click that, you get this option menu that comes up. Click bevel, and you also get this menu here. Don't need to use this menu here. I could have actually just used that menu that popped up to begin with. Here, and gone, oh, I, I need it exactly 0.1, I need it just one segment. Click bevel. And that's pretty much how you add your custom shelf. You can obviously use these tools separately. You don't have to add them to a shelf. You can just go edit mesh, extrude, and do what you want. But there are also shortcuts for that. So it depends what you prefer. You can use marquee menus. You can just use the drop down menus or you can use your custom shelf. But anyways, that is how you add your custom shelf. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time.